Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Business 101. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Salmarie Smith, and um, I'm the Membership Administrator for AHOPSA. Sorry, I just want to get my screen, my presentation just right here. Sorry for the inconvenience, just a second, please. So I'm working for OPSA for almost five years, and I'm busy verifying the membership applications and the required documents. <clears throat> for the past two and a half years, I've come across some fraudulent PRB um, cards and OPSA membership certificates. So I would like to discuss with you today what is wrong and what is right. So if you can see, this is a fraudulent PRB card. The first thing on this card is we have basically cut the business face out and the name and surname for security purposes. Note that the card's PRB number is incorrect. We never have, or they never have a five digits, four slash and a two digit number. It must be a four digit. And after the two digits, that's the year that they applied and the expiry date is the year for a year, sorry. On the same card, it states that the person is a OPSA member. OPSA never in the whole history add to the POB card that the person is a member. So this is the correct digital POB card. On the card is the person's picture that is covered at the moment. It will have the person's name and surname. The PRB number will be four digit, forward slash two digit, that's the year. The expiry date will be a year after. That will say that he is a licensed plumber for that current year. Also on the back end of the card will be the current employer that will state who he's working for. And the same thing on the card is the designation if the polar, if the person has solar or heat pump as the designation. So that you can sign off the CRCs for that. <clears throat> then we're going forward to the membership certificates. This is definitely a very wrong certificate that helps on never state that the person has complete a try test via us. Um, it will have the membership number on it. It's an eight digit membership number with the year that it's valid <clears throat> from the 1st of March each year till the end of February the next year. It will also not have the part that it says has duly completed a trait in plumbing. We have not do that in years. So any membership certificates can be verified. They can contact us on 011-454-0025. This is our previous membership certificate. So last year we have that where it's that the company's name, the membership number, that's eight digits, the year that it's complete or the year that there are a valid member, and also the date that the certificate is issued with a signature on it. So what we found is that a lot of people send us a request to ask if this certificate is correct. And we got like a person's name stated on the certificate that is incorrect because we are not for the individual plumber we are a membership organization for plumbing companies. So the company name must be on the certificate. And what they do is they use a current member's certificate number. So we can basically see if that is correct or not. If that happens, we need to cancel the current membership so that it creates a different membership number. So we have canceled this membership due to the fraud that's going on currently. We have moved over to the Privy Seal membership certificate. So what happens is once a company, 
a new company applied. We sent the information to Privy Seal. They create the membership certificate. So the company name will state on the, on the certificate. The membership number will be there and the time period that the membership is valid. Also on the certificate will be the Privy Seal QR code. So any person can basically scan the QR code and they will be verified that the person is an active IOPSA member. With that, they also created a seal that is the top one that is smaller than the certificate. That one can be used on their social medias, invoices, quotes, where they want to use it, email signatures as well, that the person can also scan the QR code and it will verify that the person is up to date with the membership. <clears throat> I have added what the requirements is to become a member. So currently, if a person required to be a member, we send them the information with the application form. They are also able to find it on our website. So the requirements that we have is the company must send us the supporting documents. It's the company registration document, ID copies of the owners or directors, a tax clearance certificate or PIN that must be with good standing and up to date. We also request public liability insurance. It must state that the cover is more than 1 million for plumbing works or workmanship. Then with this, that the standards changed a little bit, we are now requesting a plumber's red seal. With that, we are going to ask the company to send us either the person's contract or a confirmation letter that he's employed within the company. Note that we have to verify the plumber's red seal that can take up to 48 hours for verification. We also request a BE certificate if they have one. And if the company do have a PRB registered plumber, they can forward that information to us. Once uh, we have received all the documents, I will verify it myself, check that everything is in order. Once I have all the documents correct, it will be forwarded to the region committee for approval. They will make sure that everything is also correct. And if they know the person, they will make contact with them. And then the approval will come back to me. We will load it on the system and we'll send them an invoice for payment. Only once the member have paid the membership, you will be an active IOPSA member. And that's when we will send him a link with the membership certificate from Privy Seal. Then for what the benefits is for becoming a member, it seems like a lot of people is not really sure of what the benefits is to be a member. So with the membership fees, it covers quite a lot. We assist with technical assistance. Uh, we, one of our technical team will go out to your premises to assist you, or you can make contact with them via calling and they will advise the, the question or the requirements that you have. Then we have a health and safety consultant that also help that will be there if you need assistance and guidance, even documents that is available on a flash drive that we do provide to our new members. I hope so also promote members to the public. We add your information to the Find a Plumber. That is where you go on the, our website, go to Find a Plumber. If you're looking for a person or a company, they will be there. Um, also in your area, you can have a look all the plumbers that is listed. We have a compliance portal. So the compliance portal is for members and consumers and non-members. Note that there is some clauses on our website that you need to have a look at. Just note that we don't get involved with costing at all. 
For IOPSA members, there's no extra cost if you lodge a complaint, even if a consumer lodge a complaint, um, if the company is a member of IOPSA, the same will be for them. Then we have plumbers evenings for our members. We notify them when plumbers evenings taking place, where it takes place, and they will receive points for attending that meetings. In that plumbers evenings, there is very, very informative information that we share with the plumbers. So they are up to date and know what's going on in the industry. Members will also receive a plumbing magazine with newsletters. So they have the information what's going on and that will go out every month. Members will also have access to our website for additional information. So once they activate their membership, they will receive a password to log into our website and get the information they need. And then we also open up um, to our members if they are requesting apprentices, our training projects usually need a lot of training um, host employers to assist us with these apprentices. And that is to no cost at any of our members. Then Rodemeyer attorneys, they also assist our members with if there's any legal or documents they need. You can just contact us and we will help you give the information to of them to you. Members receive discounts from some suppliers like builders. Builders offer 5% discount on any time that you go to purchase products at the venues. Tiger will entire also this um, giving discount to members. Unfortunately, I don't have currently a list of or a breakdown of what the total percentage is of each item. And then CHM also give discount on specific vehicles to our some members. So I hope this, this will give you a guidance of what the membership benefits is. We are there to help and guide and assist everyone as far as possible. That, this is basically my, my presentation to you and thank you everyone for attending this webinar.